Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Area. So um, we have chance to teach uh, Chinese brush painting in person. And uh, if you ha don't have uh, this opportunity to come to my studio, this is uh, better than uh, answer in life. Um, this will be your representative. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to show you once in how to do the color flowers. Roses, we do the flower first normally. Uh, this is the main flower, the focal point. So I use the palette has some green in it. That's perfect. I just take you know time to take advantage of what happens. So I got uh, uh, water with white to load the brush. Basically, with the white uh, diluted like a milk, maybe thinner, very thin um, milk. It when it comes from the tube, it looks like uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can use uh, this area oh, okay. maybe. Yeah, just to see that this is the uh, color. It bleeds less. Okay. Yeah, I got a drop there, so I have to t make that into. That's usually a starting point. <laughs> we got a drop of wallet. It was a uh, rouge, maybe uh, common, maybe first to get a light, light uh, pink, right, and then uh, rouge. This is a, what we call the gradation load, load or double load with from white to to pink to you can load the carmine first and then rouge on top. Very fun. Let me do it for you. So this is a, it, you can add water. So I just have a sense how much water uh, you need to get. But you, since it's a flower, you want to make it. Uh, Really fresh. Okay. So this is a. It's a more than. Uh, let's do a little more myself. <laughs> so you you start. Um, the rose is different than peony. In peony, we hold the brush uh, like third part. So you you can start with a, uh, just a like a stroke for the uh, <coughs> and then the a third stroke form a triangle shape. You don't have to be too long. This first stroke may be a bit too long. But it could be uh, a long side of the triangle and then add uh, two different and then uh, yeah just uh, uh, make sure the center area let me show you is not so open if it's I'll add another center to it if it's too too open you know just add another layer so you can you can add more layers triangles, uh, the corner of the triangle could be like this, so the heart, so some some soft edge like that, so one, one uh, a few defined uh, edge, but most just soft edges. In Chinese painting that shows the, uh, yeah, let me see what you can do. The, the the edge, the edge could be softer. Softer. Okay. Okay. 
and Guruji. You can see that Guruji is, uh, is on this side. Maybe just to make it just like like that. Um, I have rows outside. I can take a look. That that part. So you you can. Uh, Just make the tip a little bit. Uh, save that brush for maybe we can add a half flowers after we add the leaves. Now we use a different brush. You can use a combination brush for paint in groups. You can make uh, some yellow and blue to, to get some green color. Even if it's some some uh, part more yellow, some more. Uh, I think the dark leaves could be just water. So let's just do drops of. Uh, I got another spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's clean water, so I don't have to worry about that. So just. Too hard when you do it. So touch a little water would reduce that uh, hardness. Or you can blend it. I don't blend in this case. I just touch a little water without blending. I know it will soften the uh, with leaves. So the the leaf could go uh, towards the the direction of the movement. Uh, You can take a look at the leaves in the real flower situation. Far. Uh, it's a little challenge because uh, it's very close to the bottom. With other flowers. So in the bottom part, I just squeeze out the flower. Also, paper is uh, golden, uh, actually silver flagged. Um, this autumn goes, it's a frost kind of thing, or even snow kind of flags. That comes with the paper. Um, and I add little, keep, if I keep doing the color become lighter, um, yeah, that's I like that color you got. We could just keep using that color. Do all five, just you know, maybe three, or a suggestion of five, something like that. Proper, you know, like not to draw. If it's too wet, just do the leaves. Okay, you can do the more leaves. Just testing. If stand now, but it has this kind of calyx. There, you have to do it very calligraphically. Calligraphically, just maybe. The, you have to indicate the quality of the art. Uh, just keep not too thick, not too thin, you know, you have to do it in with the handle towards the direction you move.
it becomes calyx. You know, you don't have to really follow the botanical. law um, okay another flower or something session we talk and there's another maybe starting uh, on the number three position, a, a secondary. Add a suggestion there uh, in number three, a uh, number one, to make it clear, but you don't have to. Um, I just add another one. I, I'll do a, uh, another side view, maybe. Look at my real flowers there. So a side view. Autumn flower. It's different than spring rose. Then the calyx, calyx behind. But this is a full bloom flower. You don't have to make uh, the stem all clear. This thing, but if you do, you you, you have that, you have to. <laughs> you can use the uh, uh, the branch to it like that. So don't have to be five, sometimes just three. Uh, sign on this corner it will be balanced, so I don't need to fill in all the space with flowers. Uh, a little, uh, it could be fine, just Or what stage you think is a, you can make it like a side view like I do so you can make a, a few fortunately the audience won't see that so we do have a life model outside the window to inspire not to try to use the side of the brush you can get it this like yeah, uh, so not not just small petals, big petals. Right? Okay, that's it. Yeah, you. The next we do the veins. Yeah, this too blue. You can get some yellow to make it green. Blend it. Come. Uh, Kind of brown, green, for the autumn leaves. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, just the root. I'm gonna <laughs> ruin this color now uh, with ink to make veins like this, like the. This is a very nice color to do. You 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 don't have to do secondary veins. <laughs> You should just do the center then. Uh, 
that's the classical way of doing this. And just do that. Many people have trouble with leaves, veins especially. You need to practice <coughs> to veins. Very uh, stylish kind of Chinese way to do to the ink basically, not the red for the old leaves. And uh, also on this dark leaf, I have to do something, and I have to do it with darker ink. Suggested, you know, some part you could uh, just omit the some, just make a suggestion of all the time. See that. Thorn. So I just use a little root or common with a little, maybe just common with a little ink. This is like Details. You can use this brush. This okay. is a leaf vein brush. Just long, draw longer, larger lines. You can go outside to, yeah, yeah, that's just go outside, go around after. <laughs> so, this, uh, you need to make the curve oh, forward, okay. Okay, not the opposite. Mm. Okay. Um, and just, um, you can just do the center vein if you don't know uh, which side, you know, just start with the center mm -hmm. and uh, just go around it. Mm -hmm. like a okay, uh, you can always redefine the leaves. Work on this yourself. Uh, get some just ink without the red to do the large leaves. You know, just make it as large as just along the darker side, the shady side is fine. Of uh, 2008. Excuse me. Uh, my main. I'll get my seal done from the upstairs. Uh, <coughs> so this will be the finished piece. Closing. Um, let me see your conversation. I think this part is a little bit uh, uh, feel. Uh, you, yeah. In some stamps, you can see that. Um, you can. You can. 
Do you want? Oh, just add the thorns. It will help. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you just leave it. It's uh, so uh, you can even put uh, something like a bug there, if you want. I can help you with that. Okay. <laughs> just like a prey mantis or something. Some uh, uh, my my seal here, and you can keep working on yours. Or you, yeah, don't overwork. I'll be right there. Got my seal here. I'm gonna stand it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just keep doing. Just uh, just something. Some closer. Some sparse. Yeah. Just the rhythm, like music. Just like music, rhythm. Okay. That completes the intro. The signature and the seal placement. It's part of the composition. You can uh, you can put your name and, and signature on a little card, a scrap paper. My complete painting. Uh, let me see. I think the middle small. Um, it, it's always good to have large, small, and uh, uh, middle, mm -hmm. or uh, medium. Medium, large, and small. So not the same size variation, uh, and different stage of the room is good. Uh, you don't have to write the whole the right side right there. What do you think? Or you can do it also on the other side. Maybe we can, um, what is it? Do you have the, oh yeah, we have this, <laughs> we have this uh, seal here, right? you can, you can imagine where to put, I think maybe we do it on this side, and we can put a corner seal. It's, it's safer to do it this way, maybe on this side. There, okay. Uh, interesting, I think. Just yeah, here. yeah, right. Um, just you have that piece uh, signed. Uh, Twelve papers. Twelve papers. Okay. So Wednesday is going to practice uh, his signature. I'm going to stop here, and uh, let me show you some other works we've done uh, <coughs> earlier with the landscape still wet. Uh, misty landscape. We did uh, broadcast earlier. Uh, after it completely dries, I'll add a little climb on the trail, so you have entrance to the painting. And maybe in the distance, so you can do some birds, uh, or you know, even buildings or pavilions, that kind of thing. Smart, we put it in the sunshine. <laughs> that's good. All right, that's great. I like that. So, this one is uh, really subtle. I like the color you got the horizon, uh, the yellow on the horizon, the white. Very misty here with the, you know, the, the, the ink become lighter gray with the moisture. In ways, yeah, that that you feel that's mm -hmm. how it, that you you start from dry and then before it gets dry you you run water in from outside.
travel along the, the, the brush mm -hmm. traces. That's how you create it. Nice. Yeah, you're going to sign that one and this one also for yourself. I will see the complete composition. So when he is signing his uh, rose painting, because your seal is mm -hmm. maybe you can write the year on the left and the right. Okay, uh, as you did with the bamboo, you mm -hmm. know that, that first two letters that gives the year of on the side. Yes, two letters on the side, just like that. Just like the bamboo, the, the, the panda. The year goes like a 60 Chinese astrology or Chinese zodiac circle. Uh, next year would be pig, this year is, is dark. Um, instantly, I'm going to do a lesson on the, ho the boar, <laughs> the hog. Okay, where are you going to sign on this one? I think the, uh, maybe just on this rock. Okay. Yeah. You can up, uh, first two letters on mm -hmm. the top, and just one line down. Or you can do it in two lines, okay. up to you. Yeah. Let me sign mine to the, uh, it's still, let me just do a little, to a monk or some a scholar or poet here. You say put the year. Um, yeah, you can, uh, you can. One nine. It'll be fine. On top. Okay, I'm going to. Maybe sign on here too. I think here. Um, your, your seal, I uh, have a pad for you. Put your seal. There, uh, yeah, your ink is here. You can also use my ink, it's, a, it's a very high quality. Uh, with your box. I did the signature on the left side, so keep in mind that's the orientation mark. Yeah, that's nice. It has a tail, but you can easily mount, uh, mount it to fix. Mm. Uh, that's very really nice. Very good. Mount to it. Really nice. Well, uh, it's kind of color. <laughs> color. Oh, first color. Yeah, I can see the how subtle the color is. So that's all you need. It's just yeah, a hint, uh, mm -hmm. just a tint. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's nice. I like the, the, the placement. It, it helps to bring the, the 
That's a nice placement. And uh, like I said, if you have something like a mood still, you can add to this corner. Oh, Wilson, yeah, you, you can also, yeah. If it's big, you know, you can put it here or around. You don't have to add anything. This, uh, sometimes just leave it to, for you, people to uh, fear you that it could be. Yeah, so it, it's no problem. And yeah, you got that pandas. That's very good. I like the way this came out. This is really big. You can mount it. So, yeah. The sound for <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I just use my palm to try it. Um, any other thing before we cut off? But I thank you for coming, and I uh, hope to see you again soon.